Hello, everybody, all the audio lovers around the world. Let me remind you that my name is Paul. This is my humble YouTube channel, a place to talk about music, mixing, mastering, producing, game audio, sound design, and more. And this is, of course, my humble studio, Warsaw, Poland. Welcome back. Guys, today we're going to talk about a new synth by Sherry Audio. What a surprise. Will these guys ever stop making good synths? Well, we're gonna learn today testing out their new GX80, which is a combination of CS80 and GX1 old-fashioned analog Yamaha synthesizers, of course in the virtual form. Let's take a deeper look. The GX1 was kind of a playground before constructing CS80 for Yamaha, though it featured some things that then Yamaha CS80 didn't have. For example, dual layer architecture, which means that you've got actually four oscillators, to tweak also additional oscillator waveforms, which were resonant pulse, bandpass sawtooth, and octave up triangle. It's all present in GX80 by Sherry Audio. Also, you could invert the filter envelope and you You've got a separate circuit for filter which was only in GX1, it's also included in GX80. So guys, this is mainly the reason why we're not going to compare it against Arturia CS80 or Memory Moon ME80, I think that was the name of this synthesizer, because we are not dealing strictly with CS80 emulation. It's kind of a different uh, machine with some extra value added, I would say. And let's see the panel. Boom, here it is. Well, not a surprise. Looks almost like CS80. Mm, probably we're gonna have some, yeah, I can see this already. This is probably, yes, high pass uh, pulse and this saw bandpass saw. Okay, guys, anyway, let's tweak the sound. And of course, as we're gonna test, we're gonna create a patch on the way because this is probably the best way to test the synth. Just a saw, guys. I'm gonna tweak this oscillator. Let's turn off oscillator two and. Hmm. Yep, so no oscillators are present now. Pulse. And this is this additional. Yes, so I've got this like in CS80, this pulse oscillator, but there's an extra pulse oscillator. Exactly, with high-pass filter resonant one. Yep, so let's make it double. Or no. Because I can modulate the pulse width. That's going to be kind of raw sound. <laughs> All right, let's start here and let's add, it's going to be probably the same here. So I've got saw. Yeah, I'm going to turn it off for now. Yeah, this is just a saw oscillator like in CS80, but yes. Exactly, this is the second oscillator taken from GX1. And there's this triangle. Yes, and it's active higher. Plus noise. I'm not gonna engage this triangle now, but... I'm gonna skip to mm, mm, amp envelope. Yeah. Okay, guys, um, the oscillators sound really rich, fat somehow, and analog-like. Well, I can't really judge it because I have never played original CS80, but there is this vintage tone to it, which is typical for Sherry Audio. Not surprised at all. Mm. Okay, so now I've got filter section. 
low pass with resonance. I'm not gonna engage it. Yeah. Maybe like this. Filter envelope initial level. And filter envelope. Attack level, yes. Starts sounding like a bass a bit, but still I'd like to make it a lead. Yep. And I can choose the second filter. Yeah, sounds more open, that's for sure. Yes. Maybe I'm not gonna dissect this filter in details now. I will even switch to this GX thing. I've got kind of a patch already, I would say. <sighs> Okay. Brilliance? No. 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 Okay, I'm gonna leave it like this. And I'm gonna turn it off. And I'm gonna go for a second oscillator. I can't hear it. Hello! Ah, mix. And can I copy this? Can I copy this oscillator? Well, I don't think so. Maybe somewhere in the edit options? No, settings. <laughs> that would be cool to copy this oscillator. And can I choose the octave? Yes. Okay, so I can choose uh, intervals. It's not per single semitone, I mean, but okay, still I can tune the oscillators. Anyway. I want to make it quite similar in tone. And now I can pan them. Right, so this is the oscillator envelopes and filter section separate for two oscillators. Where's the second layer? Probably somewhere here. Yes, so I can do it single layer, dual layer or split. And I've got upper panel and here's my lower panel, which means aha, I first have to press dual and then there's the lower panel and I've got two more oscillators. It's like the second CS80 inside the same plugin, which is great. I'm not going to engage layer two because the video is going to be painfully long again. Sub oscillator. Gives us a really nice additional stereo, pulsing stereo effect. This is cool. <laughs> Yeah, so it's even dirtier with this ring. I'm gonna leave it here and maybe we're gonna go unison, 16 voices of unison. Touch response with some aftertouch, keyboard control, layer level. We've been here. We've been here. I've got voice assignments. Uh, I've got effects. Oh, yeah. Rotary chorus. No. 
Mm-hmm. And there's no mix. No, there is no mix. Okay. Flanger phaser. Flanger phaser are not my things either, I have to tell you. Uh, delay. Ah, delay is a delay. Digital and tape delays. Let's turn it off, but I'm gonna need reverb for this. Yo, uh, we've got, of course, tone selector like in the original CS80, so I've got some preset sounds, let's say. I've got some user sounds, and I've got some utilities. Ah, here I can copy the layers, woo! So it is here, copy rank, reset rank, and the whole layer can be copied. Wow, this is cool, That well, that's what I was missing here, and it is here, guys. And well, we've created a patch, and as I told you, um, CS80 style interface was never my thing. It was never um, a synth of my choice in any VST virtual form. But do I like it? Huh, I'm gonna tell you in a second. Let's sum the things up. So, here comes our question, back like a boomerang. Will these guys ever stop making cool synths? Probably not, and this is actually great news, because this is another great polysynth in a virtual form from Sherry Audio. And yes, it might not be my thing, this particular interface, this particular style of synthesis and visual, uh, visual feedback of a machine, but you know what, I totally, totally do recommend it for you, of course. It sounds great, it's very versatile, you can tweak a lot of, a lot of stuff out of it, and probably somebody is going to compare it against Arturia and Memory Moon uh, ME80 synths, which are CS80s in a virtual plugin form, and I'm quite sure that GX80 is not going to lose the comparison here. So guys, hmm, take a look, tweak it, and if CS80 style synthesis is your thing, consider new GX80 by Sherry Audio, and I'm waiting for another of their machines, I will surely review it for you, and now let me tweak it a bit more, so maybe somehow one day I'm gonna be convinced enough to start really using it. Take care, see you soon.